Okay, as the title says, today I'm going to show you how to make homemade capels from bone ash. We all see now how much capels are online to buy singly. Well, you get a few, don't you? And they're quite expensive than the delivery. And um, the cheapest way is to buy a bag of bone ash like this. I've just got a kilogram bag for £10 and then you pay the delivery. But this is gonna last a long time. You're gonna make a lot of capels from this one kilogram. And um, so what we're gonna do is, it's just a guesstimate really. There's no way in, there's nothing like that. You're just gonna put some in a bucket, wear gloves, you're just gonna put a bit of powder in and keep adding water step by step till it gets thicker. So I'm now gonna show you what we're gonna be using as molds. So, Here's what I'm going to be using for my mould and it's just a piece of pipe and that's it. An all old pipe where I've cut from a tube like this. So that's what it's going to look like. I only use small capels, depending on the size of gold what you're melting. You know if you've got quite a bit then use a bigger pipe. And then to put a dentation in it, I'm just going to use this little dresser. This is uh, actually for roofing, but I use this for dressing gold as well. And then uh, once I fill this up with the uh, solution, the powder, I'll then put a dent in it and then we're going to let it dry. But first we need to put something in here so it's not going to stick to it. And uh, you can put, put vegetable oil in it, engine oil, anything like that. And uh, so I'm first going to coat this in a little bit of oil. And then we'll get to the capelling. What I'm going to do to know how much you actually need so you're not wasting all this. I'm just going to fill this tube up with this powder. And then we'll start off by letting it out and wetting it. And we're going to put some water in it. All right, I'm just going to mix this. That's all I've done, just a bit of water. Obviously, if you make it too wet, you're going to have to add more powder and you're going to have to accept the waste. out get just get your scraper and just start scraping it on the bottom it's just going to fall form like a filler you know like a wall filler this is basically what you're mixing just think of it like that so we want to form it get it all nice and pasty but just like wall filler that's how it's getting getting all the lumps out start filling the tube with all your paste and start pushing it in from either end you're compacting it shape it off and get it from this end Looks like I've been pretty lucky to be fair. And uh, we've not ever done it. Right, I'm just gonna shape this off and then we'll show you how about the now the time to get this dint in it. You can let it go off a little bit longer if you want, some folk do. But I wet this up, just put a bit of saliva on it, spit whatever, and then just start dressing it in beating it down 
what are you going to have to do though as well? Start scooping this what's coming over like a volcano. So I'm just going to start straightening it up. So I've just put it on the scraper for to keep it flat. And there's my dentation now. So just wet your hand. Anything to press, press it in. I'm just trying to get rid of this little air bubble, whatever it is. And there you go. That is now a button size homemade bone ash capel ready for pan gold. Just put it in there and oxidize as you would a cement capel what I've made. That is a nice miniature capel. I just met them out of pipes and uh, you're good to go you don't just need to put lead in it you know uh, i'm going to show you another way on the next video where you can use uh, other um, powders let's say not acids to refine your gold where you don't need lead i'm going to show you another way what helps with brittle gold